were in favorites. <laughs> I've got some guest stars here with me today. There is my daughter who was just sneaking in. And I've got my special guest star here, Preston, and he wanted to say hello. He's got a YouTube channel and it is called Air Preston. So if you have any little kiddos that are around that like to watch basketball videos and slime videos and uh, different kind of videos, Go check his channel out. He's got a lot of fun videos up. So, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye. Wow. Bye. Hey. Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me for February Favorites. I have got so many amazing products for the month of February. I know we are well into March, and I'm a little late at getting this up, but... It is up at last, and when I was thinking about all of the fun products that I have been using over the last month, I came up with a lot of really awesome things. So, I know I'm also a little blinked out today. I've got my favorite lipstick shirt on. I got this at Kohl's last year. I also have got the, like, blingy, blinged out earrings. I've got chrome nails. I've got the lashes on. I am just all about the February favorites. So let's go ahead and get into the goodies. One of my very first favorites I wanted to talk to you about is a new TV show. It's actually not new. I think it's in the second season. It's a TV show that we have recently discovered. <laughs> and the one of the main characters on the show, she wears her hair just like this. She's got like the most perfect curls. And the show is called Teachers. And it is so freaking funny. It is a half hour comedy show. It's so raunchy. And it's on TV land. I mean, the, the cable channel TV land of all channels for this show to be on. It's on TV land. But it is, it is hilarious. Like we, me and my husband sit after the kids go to bed because it is, you know, you cannot have the children around for this. It is, it is so funny. We laugh. It's about five elementary school teachers and they're, it's like all set in the school. It is so funny. Like every one of the teachers is a, a different personality. Like one is a total, you know, ho bag. One is so prissy. I mean, they're all, they've got really unique individual um, personalities and it is so funny. If you just want a 30 minute kind of like no nonsense, let's forget about the stress of the day and just laugh. You've got to check this out. It is so funny. And let me know if you, if you watch it, what you think, because it's hilarious. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the products. The first product I want to show you about is in this box. And it is the most impressive product out of all of the things I want to talk to you about today. And I have not even tried it yet. And you're probably thinking, how could it be impressive if you haven't even tried it? But let me show you what this is. This box showed up on my doorstep last week. And it was from e.l.f., the cosmetic brand e.l.f. And I was like... What is this? I didn't order anything. They have no idea who I am, so I know it's not PR. But I opened it up and there was this handwritten note in there. And it says, we are so sorry your order didn't get here on time and that is our fault. We understand how frustrating the experience is and we wanna make it better. We appreciate our customers and working towards improving online shopping experience, so please accept this gift as an apology. And I was like, what is this? It is a full size e.l.f. illuminating eye cream. But the whole kicker of this all is that I placed an order after Christmas. I had no issues on my order. I don't remember it being late. I know I never call a customer service. And this to have shown up on my doorstep so unexpectedly and was such an amazing note was really, really impressive to me. So guys, I mean, this I think says a lot about the company um, and a lot about how much they care about their customers and their service. So you know what? This actually makes me want to go online and buy more because I was really impressed with this. So very cool. So the next couple of products I have are cosmetics related. I forgot to mention that I also have a bubble bath. 
a hair tool and something really special I want to share. So let's get into the cosmetics. I want to mention this Violet Voss Ride or Die palette. I actually did a first impressions and review on it last month and I'll go ahead and link it up here so you can, um, can go ahead and watch it. But you know, it was kind of a fail on my part because I had no idea that I actually ordered it and received it on a pre-sale. I had no idea that I got a pre-sale order and then it was going to be released at a later date. So I went ahead and did the swatches and, you know, first impressions and everything. And it wasn't even available to everyone yet. So it's all released now. I am loving it. I've been using it over the last month. And I have to say this, this guy, it is just. I mean, it is glorious eyeshadow perfection. The quality of these is stellar. They blend. They're so pigmented. They're awesome. This is a pretty pricey palette, I have to say, but for the quantity of the eyeshadows and the quality that you get, I think it's totally worth it. The colors for me are right up my alley. They're just, you know, beautiful. I have them on my eyes today. I have gotten so many different looks out of this, and that's what I really like, too. I mean, you know, you can really kind of go for the, the, the browns, the, the darker colors, the reds. There's just so many options with this. I have just been loving this, and if you're in the market for a really good quality palette that is going to last you, like, for years and years, this is the one to get. It's awesome. I feel like I need like one of those little red lights that say filming, filming right outside of my door because on the weekends, that's generally when I film. My children are just so freaking loud. <laughs> so these two lipsticks I have been wearing almost every day this month. These are my new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and I have to say these are nude lipstick perfection. The one that I have on my lips right now is just so pretty. That is this one right here, which is Bitch Perfect. I find it's just a really perfect nude for my skin tone. And then the other one, which is Pillow Talk, it is just a really kind of a your lips but better color. Um, I think that this would look great on every skin tone. I love the matte formula. I've loved how these have performed and lasted, and I just feel so fancy wearing these. So, if you've got an extra $32 sitting in your pocket that you have nothing else to do with and you want a really nice fancy lipstick, get these. These are fantastic. Next, I want to talk about a beautiful highlighter that I'm so excited about. They just released Hot Sand on its own and this is a beautiful kind of cult classic from NARS. They have had this in a duo before. I think it comes in one of the, the creamy multi-sticks. Um, I think they have the duo in Laguna and Hot Sand that they have had in the past. I think I've actually had that and I don't know where it is. Um, anyways, they released this on its own. It is beautiful. It is such a subtle, um, really nice champagne natural highlight. You can't even really see it on my skin tone. It's not glittery. It's not sparkly. It's just that beautiful, simple sheen to the skin. I love this. And actually, I got home and I was playing with it. And I thought, hmm, this looks a whole lot like the Essence Pure Nude. I'm going to swatch these next to each other and see if you can tell the difference. I wouldn't say these are total dupes, but it's a pretty close um, match. This one is the Pure uh, Nude from Essence, and this one is hot sand. I would say this one gives a very similar highlight to the skin, but there is just something about this NARS that I absolutely love using. So I'm thrilled I have this. Go check it out. The next product I want to talk about is a complete surprise to me because I honestly had no idea that I was going to love this thing as much as I do. I heard about this from Stephanie Vanderwag over at Stephanie Vanderwag. Hey, Stephanie. She raved about this product and I was like, you know, I am not a cushion foundation person. The last couple ones I've tried had not been that great. But hearing her review and seeing her rave about this, I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and give it a try. And I'm so glad that I did. This is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. I have the color 10. I think it's the lightest one. Um, I don't know what it is about this, but I love it. It's got a very similar little sponge that has come with all of the past ones that I've had, um, but I don't actually use that. I've, I've tried it a couple times. I don't love it with this applicator, 
but I really like applying it with my beauty blender. I think the coverage is amazing. It gives you a great medium buildable coverage. The just the finish on the skin, it's it's just oh, it's goodness. It's so good. And I'm really, really surprised. I've seen a lot of hype on this, and I think for good reason because um, this is just a great drugstore foundation. You should check it out. Another product that surprised the hell out of me this month is this guy. I heard Nicole from Young Wild and Polish just raving about these. I was at Walmart, I saw them on the shelf, and I thought, hmm, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. This is from Dr. Teal's. This is the Foaming Bath Pure Epsom Salt Bubble Bath. Now, this is the Detoxify and Energize with Ginger and Clay scent. This smells so good. I know that it also comes in the Epsom salts, the, the, the loose salts. And I think they also have body wash in this too. But I decided to try the bubble bath. I don't take a whole lot of bubble baths. But when I do, holy cow, this makes my whole bathroom smell good. It's so moisturizing to the skin. I don't know what is in here, but I'm like, I want more of these. I want to go back and get more. So I think this was like $4.99 or $5.99 at Walmart. And this is huge. This will last me for a really long time. Um, I'm so I'm just so excited that I discovered it. So check it out. All right, a couple last favorites for you that are not makeup related, but I wanted to mention is my wedding ring. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have this back on my finger. I guess it was after Christmas. I lost one of the diamonds in my wedding ring. This is now almost 19 years old, and um, I don't get it checked all the time like I should, but I had gone out running errands or whatever. I went to go take it off. I don't wear it all the time, and I noticed that one of the stones was missing. One of the, the smaller stones was missing, so... Being the procrastinator that I am, it sat in my jewelry box and sat and sat. And I was like, okay, I totally miss wearing it. I had my regular band that I would always wear. Um, but I really missed wearing my diamonds. So I'm so happy to have this on my left hand again. Another thing I want to share with you, which is really exciting to me, was that I was recently a part of the Insider Beauty page um, video. I was, I was featured in one of the stories that they did on baby foot and the business insider reached out to me a couple weeks ago asking if they could use some of my clips from a last year's video that I did on baby foot and I said of course I had no idea what they were going to do with my footage I had no idea what the story was going to be um, but it just showed up on the Facebook page I'll go ahead and leave the link down below in the description so you can go look at it but I was so honored to be a part of their story and um, they use different clips from my my video and I just thought it was really cool it has I don't know like 400,000 views or something I thought it was just the coolest thing ever so that was definitely kind of a magical moment lastly I want to mention this mascara that I bought from Charlotte Tilbury this is the legendary lashes and I have to say I'm not thrilled with it it pains me to say that I don't know that it's necessarily a fail, but I do want to make mention of it that I started using it, um, it's been almost two weeks and this guy is clumpy. So when, I mean, okay, let's just talk about the packaging. <laughs> this is reason enough to buy it, right? The, the packaging is stunning. It is gorgeous. I, I love the brush, but I feel, if you can see that, when you pull it out, there is so much extra goopy um, product that comes out onto it. I'm constant, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I'm constantly having to like scrape it before I go in and use it. Now, I have to say once I have it on my lashes, I think it looks beautiful. I love the look that it gives my lashes. But for 30 some odd dollars or whatever this is, and I don't remember the exact price, whatever I paid for it, I know is really, really expensive. I feel that it shouldn't do that. So I love the mascara. I love the look that it gives my lashes. It definitely gives length and volume and it doesn't flake. I mean, it's, it's great, but I don't like how it just is so clumpy. I mean, even look at the 
the uh, the tube. It's just it has mascara all over it. Ugh, I don't know. So that's just kind of my fail of the month. All right, everyone. So that does it for my February favorites. Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave me a comment. Have you guys tried any of these things? Do you love them as much as I do? Um, I always love hearing from you. You guys are just the most favorite part of my YouTube journey, and I so appreciate you being here. Go ahead and like and subscribe, of course. Look me up on Snapchat. I'm also on Instagram, and uh, my links are um, at the end of the video, so check those out as well. Um, but until next time, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!